Hi, this is David Heaton, Public Information Officer for the Southwest Utah Public Health Department. And today we're here with Savannah Nelson. Hello, Savannah. Hi, I'm Savannah Nelson. I'm a health educator as well as a certified car seat technician. Today we're going to talk about one of Savannah's specialties, and that is car seat safety. You're actually certified in that, correct? And tell us a little bit about why that's a program in the health department. Yeah, so I'm nationally certified, so when I went through the certification, we talked about how 60% of all car seats are installed incorrectly. So here at the health department, we find that it's really important to inform parents of that, educate them on how to install their car seats correctly. So your training as a certified car seat technician, how does that take place? What sort of training is it? And what are some things that kind of opened your eyes when you did that? It's a week long training. When I first heard that, I was kind of like a week, like what are we gonna learn about in a week? So when I went to the training, I just went in June, you go through each type of car seat. So there's multiple different types of car seats depending on your child's age or height or weight. Kind of go through and you have to decide what car seat is needed and you have to know each ins and out of car seats. And then you kind of go through the different brands. They have hundreds of samples of car seats at this training so that you can really get that hands-on experience. It's so important to have your child in a car seat and in the right car seat because of the way that the belts fit on the child. So for example, if your child's a little bit older, probably around six or seven, and they're in a booster seat, you wanna make sure that that seat belt is hitting all of the toughest parts of their bodies. So that would be like their shoulder and then their hip bones. A lot of times kids will kind of wiggle out and that's how you know they're not quite ready for that booster seat yet because it'll sit right over their stomach or around their chest. And a lot of times that can cause really bad injuries. Right, so again, it should be comfortable. It should be appropriate for the size. The belts and the straps have to hit at certain levels. I'm, I'm remembering now, I used to work in the emergency room in social services and would come in to help with traumatic accidents. But there was a family who was traveling and one of their children who was in a booster with the normal seat belt across, it was a little high and uncomfortable. So the child had uh, pulled it from around the neck and tucked under the arm and then they were in a traffic accident and unfortunately even though she was halfway restrained that improper installation resulted in a fatality which was was very sad you know very tough on the family but I think goes to show that restraints are very important and also making sure the child is comfortable and, and the child knows if they're old enough how important it is to stay buckled up That's right can you explain this five-point system yeah so older car seats used to be made with the three-point system so you wouldn't have what we call the chest clip right here so now in your newer car seats, you get the five point harness. So you have your two points at the shoulders, your two points at the hips, and then your middle. Um, and then you have this chest plate, which is the new part, which you wanna make sure is right at armpit level so that it holds them against the car seat in the event of a crash. So even though a car seat will come with instructions and there's also online tutorials, it sounds like despite that, a lot of parents and caregivers, you said 60%, still have their seat installed incorrectly. And so uh, how, how does a parent or caregiver contact us? So in Southwest Utah, if someone's thinking, is my seat in right, I want my child to be safe, how do they access our services? They make an appointment through our website, 